Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install one of these smart thermostats from Sonoff, or actually I think it's pronounced S on off, this company. So this is actually has a thermometer and a humidistat, and it's just plugs into this like 3.5 millimeter jack almost. Actually, I don't think it's a 3.5 even. But um, I'm going to show you how to power this, and we're going to be using an old uh, computer cable. And so you'll need a pair of wire cutters with stripping ability, preferably, and then a Phillips screwdriver to do this. And so what we want to first do is just take off this screw here right in the front. And this is the model TH16, by the way, and so it's actually a two-pole. Um, so it'll actually switch over so you can control like a heater or a fan with it. And you see when we take that off, we actually have a couple different uh, things. We see there's output and input. So the input is where we're going to want to be putting our uh, the, the end of this cable. Then the output will be the device that we want to control. And so we see we have N, N, and we have E, E, and then L, L. And so to find out what all these things are, um, we're going to actually have to look at the instructions. So I'll show you what the instructions look like in this. Okay, this says, the connected appliance work stop through live wire, power on off. This device must be powered by L and N. Earth wire is not essential. Okay, so E is earth or, or ground. Uh, L is going to be our one of our hot lines or our line power. And then N is either neutral or also, I believe in this case, this will run off of 240 volts. Yeah, 250. So it, this, will, this will take anywhere between 90 and 250 volts to be powered. And that's just the way that we power it. There's no external power for this device. And so we see we have our two ends over here and our L. So we, want, we just want to make sure that our hot wire, the black wire coming off of this, it'll either be a black or a red, will go onto the L. And then the other one, which is probably a white wire, will go onto this N. So the way this works is actually, I thought there might be screws. Sometimes there's a little flathead or Phillips screw. But this is just a little push type, which I don't really love. But you see if we can push in on that, you can kind of see in there, it just lowers. So we'll push in while we input the wire in. And then when we let go, it'll just pinch that wire there in place. Not super great, I don't think, for a connection method, but it's the way that this is designed. So you'll, And it's actually quite a firm press. We could probably even press down with like a flathead or Phillips screwdriver to really see that how that gets in there. So now let's go ahead and strip the wire. And so to do this, this is just a like a 120 uh, American outlet. This would work the same if you have a European style though. So I'm just gonna cut the end off. And we're not gonna use this end at all. You could use it for another project if you wanted to. It just plugs into the back for like, these, it's like a computer power supply. We'll toss that in the trash. And then you could strip this with a pair of uh, like a razor blade, but I'm just gonna do this. I have a little, this is a little Romex stripping uh, stripper, but I'm just going to kind of score it a little bit here because what this has is an outside insulated jacket and then each of the wires inside are individually insulated as well. So we'll take this rubber outside jacket off. So after this is stripped we have three different wires. We have a black, a white, and a green. The green is ground or earth, so there's no power conducted on that. It's just a safety feature. It's going to be wired to this uh, pin here, or this bar, I guess. And then we have a uh, on here we have, what is it, the right, the left side is going to be our neutral, and the right side is our hot. So th this one is the black, this one is the white, and this one here is the earth. Yeah, so this is 18 gauge wire. And then I'm just going to use the cutting part of my strippers and very carefully see if I can strip this without cutting any of the copper. Um, if you have a, a set of strippers that does 18 gauge, that would be preferable. And again, you could cut this even with a pair of scissors. I've seen people use their teeth. You could use anything for it, but basically we just want to strip this without cutting any of the copper. And there we go. So now we've got our earth, our line power, and our neutral in this case, because we're using 120 volts. But if we weren't, then both of these would be line power. So let's come over here and I'm just going to, I'm gonna first twist the edge of these since it's a stranded copper just so that when I try to put it in, sometimes you can have individual strands fraying off and you know, look something like that. And so we don't want that to happen, so I'm just gonna twist the end a little bit before trying to insert them, just to make sure that everything goes properly. I'm gonna do my white wire first, actually. So I'm just going to be, I'm just gonna press this in right here. 
make sure it's all twisted nice and good. So I'm going to press in here on the side that says input. And we'll just see if we can put that right in there. And then I'll depress it. And we see that that makes a good connection that's solid and holding it in there, at least somewhat. And then we'll do the same thing with this black one. So I'm going to press down on this one under the L in. That's our line in. So I'll press down really hard, push this in till it about won't go in any further. Then I'll unpress it and just make sure that it has a nice solid connection. I kind of pull on it. Okay, I've actually cut off the ground because we're not using it uh, in this situation. But I think we could actually put it on this other one here. So the neutral and the grounds, at least in the US, uh, they all land in the same on the same bar back in the panel. So we could put that in there, but I'm just gonna leave this uh, just sitting inside here, probably put some tape on it and tape it off. But so now we're to the point where if we were to plug this in, uh, it'll go ahead and power up and we can then connect it to our wireless uh, router and get this all configured. We should be able to receive sensing data for humidity and temperature from the sensor. Um, and yeah, so I think we're gonna do that now. And then when we get to the point where, where we want to switch something, we'll just put it over here on the load side. So there's also an L out and then a neutral out that we would be connecting to a fan or a heater or, or a some sort of a device that is controlled based on the temperature and humidity. So appreciate you watching this video uh, and catch you on the next one.